Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, no, it's been six years now already here, so delighted to extend my stay. Um, I think coming here, I think um, you know, Lancashire just offered me an incredible opportunity to try and become the best cricketer I could be. Um, and you always need opportunity to do that. So um, you know, I'm very grateful for um, that and, and delighted to extend the, um, you know, how long I've been here. What was it about the, the county, obviously, that like you say, offered you a great opportunity? Um, what was it about it, about the county that sort of you know, persuaded you to stay almost? Yeah, it didn't take much persuasion. Um, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed my time here, obviously. It's, I've been um, you know, in and out a little bit over the last few years with obviously other commitments, but every time I come back, I feel so welcome. Um, and I think the stature of the club is something I, I was really excited to continue to be a part of. You know, it's an incredible setup here. Um, it's an incredible ground. I've got fantastic memories of um, you know, both in a, a Lancashire and England shirt here. So it's, it's a very special place to play cricket. Um, and you know, the magnitude of the club is something that is fantastic to be a part of. You know, around the pavilion, there's you know all the history of the club is laid out for you. Uh, you realise you know what. Um, you know, part of a very special club, um, and so to be able to continue that partnership is um, is great for me. Obviously, we, with your international commitments and otherwise, you don't get to play too much county cricket. Um, but how much do you enjoy it when you get to come back and, and see the lads here? Yeah, I enjoy it immensely. Um, it's been great, you know, especially you know here on a night of a roses game. They're the games you you really looked out for in the calendar when they come out, and they're the ones you know you'd be um, you know you want to play in. Um, so. Yeah, you know, it's great. Every time I get to come back, like I said, fantastic ground to play at. Um, it's a great changing room to be a part of. Um, there's some good lads, and I really love the competitiveness of the changing room and guys who want to win um, and take this club forward. So uh, that's a, a big part of it. You know, I think there's some really good people involved, some exciting young talent who um, have got huge futures in the game. So I think the club's going in a great direction. And you've obviously been involved in your fair share of big nights, whether it be roses, finals, days, whatever else, while you've been here. How much are you excited to experience just more of them? Yeah, hopefully there's many more of them to come. Um, you know, like you said, winning the final set was a really proud moment uh, with Langshire. And I think that's the thing about this club. A club of this stature deserves and well, it needs to be challenging for silverware. It needs to be um, competing at the top of Division 1 needs to be in the one day trophies trying to win those trophies I think that's what the club demands you know the team of the 90s won all those trophies um, you know, that's where this, this club should be um, so you know, I love the ambition of the club to, to get to that point um, you know watching the guys this year and the, the T20 side looks so strong so I'm expecting the guys to go a long way uh, in this tournament and it'd be great to you know, finish the season with a, another win that was going to be my next question really is how much have you enjoyed watching how the lads are getting on this year yeah i think you know obviously playing well in all formats you know getting to the semi-final of the the one day stuff was a really strong campaign and, and i think you know lancashire have had a really strong history in t20 cricket um i think in, if you just looked at pure games one i think lancashire are probably number one in just terms of t20 games one so got a good rich pedigree in in the format, um, I think some great overseas signings this year. I think any time you can add a, a Glenn Maxwell to your team, that's exciting. With you know a, a proven match winner with um, bat ball and in the field, um, so guys like that and and around the you know, guys like Matt Parkinson, I love watching him bowl. I think leg spin's such a, a huge weapon in T20 cricket, and he's a great exponent of it. So, um, you know, but you could pick out a number of different guys in in the in the side um, who are of going to have big seasons and, and I think Lanks will be right up there challenging all the way. And hopefully I guess you, you're looking forward to in the years to come chairing an England change room with some of the lads you just obviously mentioned Parkey's had a great season last year, started but again really well this year, you know these these lads are going to be pushing for international places as well. Yeah absolutely, yeah, there's a number of guys who are on that pathway already on there playing um, you know, Lions cricket. Um, and you know, moving in the right direction, and they're all of a, a similar age and, and sharing the same ambition, which is great for them individually. It's great for the club because it means guys are going to push forward. Um, but like I said, I think there's a number of them. I'm really excited to see Saki Mahmood stay fit as well. Um, you know, he's a bowler of immense talent, so um, I think you're really seeing that as well this year. So um, yeah, those two guys, Saki and, and Parky, obviously with the ball, and, and there's a number of guys um, you know, with the bat, huge futures. So. Um, it's great to see them pushing on.